hello guys welcome back to my channel so today we are going to crochet this cute uh, little fox so you'll need uh, three kinds of yarn the green yarn the white yarn and the main color yarn also you'll need the little brown yarn over here so get your materials ready and let's get started Okay, so we're going to start with the legs moving up and we're going to start with the body color and we'll do the magic ring and then six single crochet into the magic ring. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five and six okay and then i'll take my marker and place it over here okay so now in the second row we are going to increase every stitch for a total of 12 stitches okay so we'll increase Increase the second stitch to and continue increasing. And in the last stitch, okay. Now, in our third row, we are going to do single crochet, then increase and repeat that all the way around for a total of 18 stitches. So, we'll do single crochet increase single crochet and increase and repeat that all the way round okay so in our fourth row we're going to do two single crochet then increase and repeat all round for a total of 24 stitches so we'll do two single crochets and increase, repeat two single crochets, increase and repeat that all the way round. Okay, so now in our fifth row, we are going to do three single crochet, then increase and repeat for a total of 30 stitches. So three single crochets and increase in the next stitch and repeat all around three single crochet, increase all the way round. Okay, so now in our fifth row, we are going to do three single crochet, then increase and repeat for a total of 30 stitches. So three single crochets and increase in the next stitch and repeat all around three single crochet, increase all the way round.
okay so now in our sixth row we are going to do single crochets all the way around but in the back loops only so we're going to have a total of 30 stitches so we go into the back loop of the next stitch and do a single crochet and then in the next in the back loop do single crochet and then we continue like that Okay, and continue all the way around in the back loops only. Okay, so now in the next two rows, which is row seven and row eight, we are going to do single crochets all the way around for a total of 30 stitches okay so you just continue and do single crochet the normal way okay and then you continue in this row and the next row which is the eighth row so that we start the ninth row together Okay, so now in our ninth row, uh, we're going to do single crochet in the next nine stitches. Then we are going to decrease six times and do single crochet in the remaining nine stitches. Okay, so we'll do single crochet. One, two, three, four five six seven eight and nine and then we are going to decrease six times so i'm going to go into the uh, front loop of the first stitch then pull through in the back loop of the next stitch pull through and that's one decrease and then decrease again second time and then decrease the third time decrease four and then decrease five and decrease six And then we'll do single crochet in the remaining nine stitches. Okay, now in the 10th row, uh, we're going to do single crochet in the next six stitches and then decrease six times and then single crochet in the remaining six stitches okay so we'll do six single crochets And then decrease six times one two
three. Four. Five. And six. Then single crochet in the remaining six stitches. Okay, and then after that we'll change to the trouser color. Okay, so to change to the other color, for in my case, I just tied uh, the normal way. You can also do the invisible knot. It's uh, you can find a video on YouTube on how to do that. But now uh, for the next 14 rows, which is from row 11 to row 24, we're going to do single crochet all the way around with a uh, trouser color yarn so you're going to have something that looks like this so from here to here that's 14 rows okay so for the first leg you're going to cut off the yarn uh, as you can see how I did here after the 24th row but for the second leg uh, you repeat the same way we did until you get here but do not cut off the yarn so uh, because you're going to join the two legs together okay so I'll see when you're done doing uh, the 14 rows so that we join the two legs together okay so after we're done with the second leg now we're going to join the two legs together and we're going to do a chain three okay so we'll do chain one two three and then we're going to pick this other leg and make sure they're facing the right direction like that and then uh, do a single crochet in the next leg in the other leg okay and then i'll put a marker over here and then i'll do single crochets all the way around okay so you continue and do single crochet okay So when we get where we joined with a chain three on this side, we are going to do single crochet in each chain. Okay, so we are going to do single crochet in the first chain, and then single crochet in the second chain, and single crochet in the third chain and then we're going to continue doing our single crochets on the other leg Okay, so when you get to this other side of the chain again, we are going to do single crochet in every chain. So single crochet in the first chain and single crochet in the second chain and single crochet in the third chain. Okay. 
crochet and single crochet here until we get here where we started okay so now we'll have a total of 42 stitches now from here uh, in the next six rows which is from row 26 to row 31 we are going to do single crochet all the way around for a total of 42 stitches in each row okay so i'll see when you're done with the uh, 31st row so that we start with the second row together okay so now before we finish the 31st row uh, when you get to the side here where the leg is uh, in the 31st row we're going to change to the white color or uh, the color that you're using for your shirt and we're going to continue to do single crochets okay so the reason why I changed the white color over here is because I don't want it to look uh, so tacky in the front I want it to look uh, a little bit neat okay and then we'll continue doing single crochets until we get where the marker is you can see that is how it looks okay so now um, because we changed the white color at the front you can see it looks like it will look like a continuation all the way round okay so now as you continue make sure you start stuffing uh, your legs all the way up and now from the next row which is the 32nd row until the 41 row uh, which is a total of 10 rows we are going to do single crochet with a white yarn all the way until the uh, 41st row okay so i'll see when you're done with the 10th row uh with the 10 rows uh so that we start the 42nd row together okay so after the 41 row this is how our little fox looks like so now in the 42nd row we are going to do single crochet in the next five stitches then decrease and repeat all around for a total of 36 stitches so we'll do single crochet one two three four five and then decrease And then we'll repeat so five single crochets and decrease and you repeat that all the way round Okay, so now in the 43rd row we are going to do four single crochets then decrease and repeat all the way around for a total of 30 stitches so we'll do single crochet one two three four decrease and repeat four single crochets decrease and then you repeat this all the way round okay so now in the 44th row we are going to do single crochets all the way round for a total of 30 stitches so we'll do single crochet single crochet 
and then you continue doing single crochets all the way round so after the 44th row uh, before we start the 45th row we are going to change our color to the main body color and then now in the 45 row we are going to do single crochet in the next three stitches then decrease and repeat all the way around for a total of 24 stitches so we'll do single crochet one two three and decrease And then we'll repeat three single crochets and decrease and you repeat that all the way round okay so remember to stuff as we continue so now in our 46th row we are going to do Two single crochet then decrease and repeat all the way around for a total of 18 stitches so we'll do two single crochets and decrease repeat two single crochets decrease and you repeat that all the way round okay so now in our 47th row we are going to do single crochets all the way round for a total of 18 stitches so we'll do single crochet single crochet single crochet and continue all the way round Okay, so now in our 48th row, which is where we start making the head, we are going to do two single crochet, then increase and repeat all round for a total of 24 stitches. So we'll do two single crochet and increase. And then you're going to repeat that all the way round. Okay, so now in the 49th row we are going to do three single crochet then increase and repeat all round for a total of 30 stitches so we'll do three single crochets then increase and you're going to keep repeating that all the way round Okay, so now in our 50th row we are going to do four single crochet then increase and repeat all round for a total of 36 stitches so we'll do single crochet one two three four and then increase and then you keep repeating that all the way round Okay, so now in row 51 we are going to do five single crochet then increase and repeat all the way around for a total of 42 stitches so single crochet one 
two, three, four, five, and increase. And then you repeat that all the way round. Okay, so now in our row 52, we are going to do six single crochets, then increase and repeat all the way around for a total of 48 stitches. So we'll do six single crochets. And then increase in the next stitch. And then you repeat that all the way round. Okay, so now uh, in our row 53, we are going to do seven single crochet, then increase and repeat all the way round for a total of 54 stitches. So seven single crochets. and increase and then we'll keep repeating that all the way round okay so after we're done with row 53 now for the next nine rows which is from row 54 until row 62 we are going to do single crochets all the way round for a total of 54 stitches in each row so I'll see you when you're done with the 62 rows so that we start the 63 row together. Okay, so we are going to decrease. One and then decrease again the second time. And decrease the third time. And decrease again the fourth time. And decrease the fifth time. And decrease the last time. Okay, so after I'm done with that, I'll remove my marker and then I'll go to the next stitch and slip stitch. Then I'll cut off the yarn. Then to finish off, I just continue and go to the next stitch and pull through my yarn until I close the gap on top. Okay. And then I'll cut it off. Okay, so that is how it looks like, as you can see. So we have a very minimal sewing. We are just going to sew the arms and the ears. Okay, so now I'll show you how to make the arms. 